Sanchez so quick earlier on today. Jack Wood to the outside. Green flag is in the air. We are racing at Texas. Great start by the two and Nick Sanchez with a big push from the 98 right behind him and they're three wide going out of turn two guys. What about Corey Heimfield got up on the outside of Jack Wood. He's gonna make it work. It looks like are they four wide? We got a spin already. We talked about turn two and how treacherous Chad, that is. Chad Chastain, the brother of Ross Chastain in the wall hard coming out of turn two with a lot of damage. Ah, that's a shame. That, okay, that's the challenge of turn two, especially in turbulent air. The further back you go, the harder it is to ha hang onto your truck, and it got away from Chad. You don't know if there was some contact or what exactly might have happened back there, but it's just a really tough day's work to be back in the beehive where he was. Tough break for one of the three Al Nice trucks. It's a home game for Al Nice from Texas. Chad qualified in the 22nd position right alongside Matt Crafton, so I'm sure there was a lot of optimism. Is that Daniel Dye way up high looks losing like that, a looks little like bit of grip? Yeah, and there might have been some contact before, but when we first saw him, he was by himself. Something to note here, you see that top groove is really dark. There is no traction compound. That's just left over from last year, so has an interesting look too and here's another look at what happened with chad chastain yeah you can see he just got loose and lost control we saw just ahead of him daniel die had the same issue was able to hang on to his truck so the team will try to patch it up maybe or they might just say it's too much damage you know phil at a mile and a half going 190 miles an hour like i talked about the aerodynamics are obviously very important and this truck's a mess yeah without it then we didn't you know 